so let me catch you up. Everything you love about Earth is gone. Your skinny, no-foam vanilla latte? Gone. Binge-watching? Gone. Cars, love songs, the Grand Canyon? Ruined! Okay, that didn't change much, but say goodbye to surprise parties. Ketchup and mustard, late night texts, Taco Tuesdays, and if that wasn't enough... The Gundam Franchise. A couple weeks ago, Netflix announced that they have a Gundam live-action movie in production, and I swear the moment I read that headline, I heard Gundam fans cry out in simultaneous horror as they become aware that their favorite franchise is about to be ruined by talentless hacks. This is a multifaceted problem because not only does Netflix have a checkered past on its originals being any good, live-action adaptations of anime have been known to be utter trash. Netflix is on a warpath of ruining everything we love when it comes to foreign media. Last year, they announced a live-action Yu Yu Hakusho, and that just sounds terrible, too. So, this new Netflix adaptation of Gundam is going to be directed by a guy named Jordan Vo Roberts. I have never really heard of this director, and by quickly looking at his uh, IMDB page, it's pretty clear why I haven't heard of this director. He's worked on things like Kong Skull Island, something called Successful Alcoholics, and apparently a Metal Gear Solid movie that has been announced. He's worked on a couple other smaller projects, but the only one that really sticks out to me is the Destiny 2 live-action trailer. But I still don't care because Destiny 2 fucking sucks. When you look into his credentials on IMDb, you can see that he's a relatively average director. He hasn't really published any big hits. He hasn't really published any big flops. I do find it interesting that one of the movies he's most known for, which is Kong Skull Island, scored a 6.6, .6, which I do believe is kind of bad. But his other stuff scored relatively alright, I suppose. That said, he doesn't really have a lot of experience in action movies. While King Kong or Kong Skull Island might be an action movie, I'm not going to spend like two hours watching a movie I have no care about. However, what I did see from the Destiny 2 trailer, it's pretty badass. You can call me cynical all you want, however, I don't believe a Beastie Boys themed montage of Destiny 2 characters fighting will translate over into a full-length Gundam movie. Obviously, Netflix doesn't give two fucks whether they put the right director in there, because as long as they make money, they're happy. Such is the industry. What I'd want to see from this Gundam live-action movie is a complete removal from the canon. I do think that it is quite possible to make a decent live-action Gundam movie, and all it really takes is to use an alternate universe or put a side story in one of the many Gundam universes. It's not like this is a foreign concept. Gundam has dealt with alternate universes and different timelines several times. Another positive to this is you can make an entire cast of original characters, that way you don't draw the ire of fanboys when you bastardize their favorite character. However, I doubt they will go with this route. Using popular characters is going to be a great selling point for this movie. I had originally made this as a post in Today and Terrible on my TikTok, and I had planned on not going further with this at all. However, my buddy Deadlift for Chips requested that I talk more about it. Shout out to Deadlift for Chips for inspiring me to do what I do best. Complain about stupid shit that ultimately doesn't matter. And that's it for my video. I could ask you to like and subscribe, but I feel like you would have done that already if you intended to do that. So, uh, bye. So proud of myself right now.